Well, welcome everybody to the uh, Halo Reach panel. We just want to first of all thank everyone. This is this is pretty amazing here. This is probably the biggest thing like this we've ever been a part of, and uh, we wouldn't be here talking about our final Halo game in a, a great 10-year run if it weren't for everyone in this room. Uh, so please, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. So we have a couple different things that we're excited to talk about today. Um, first, before we dive in though, let me introduce uh, our panels. Uh, my name's Brian, I'm the community director at Bungie. You might know me online as Sketch. I've also got uh, here Chad Armstrong, one of our multiplayer designers, also known online as Shishka. <laughs> David Allen's one of our multiplayer producers. I'm not sure what he's known as online. No? It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> and uh, finally, we have uh, Lars Bakken, one of our multiplayer design leads, also known as that insane beta guy. <laughs> So, Halo Reach. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's, uh, it's a cool game. Uh, last week, uh, we actually released a video uh, in partnership, I guess two weeks ago, sorry, at this rate, with our friends from Rooster Teeth uh, for Bungie Day. I don't know who, who had a chance to see that, but that turned out pretty good. Apparently, it got a lot of people excited, and apparently, there's some interest in going beyond the canyon. So, uh, if you guys want to do that today, I think that's, that's one of the things that we're going to get to. But before we do that, uh, we first wanted to talk a little bit about Firefight. And if you played, uh, yes, wow. What an easy crowd. Just, it's awesome. So last year, ODST introduced this new way to play Halo. It was Firefight. It was our four-player cooperative game mode. It was you and your friends kind of shoulder to shoulder, just going nuts against wave after wave of incoming Covenant. And the idea was just to have a lot of fun and, and try and score a lot of points. So. Great news is we've brought Firefight back for Reach, but even better, Lars and the team have, have had time to really bring it up to a new level and make it a, a bona fide part of the Reach offering. So you might have already heard a little bit about Firefight. Um, before we talk about a new thing today, let me just give you a couple of the, of the high points of what's cool and new. Uh, first of all, apparently not everybody always had a bunch of friends online. It turned out that earning the Endure achievement by yourself was pretty hard and not too fun. So the great news is in Reach, you'll have full matchmaking support from day one. So you'll be able to go on Xbox Live, join a firefight playlist, and uh, we'll match you up with three people, and you'll even be able to take advantage of our new social settings, and hopefully that'll help you even find people that you would enjoy playing with, and might even become friends and uh, you know and have a little, a little battle bromance afterwards. So. Uh, <laughs> Great news is Firefight will be awesome. We have improved net code and uh, a lot of systems to make sure that the online experience is even better than before. So that, that's a really big win for us. But even more exciting, I think, is rather than do what we did in ODST and sort of give you that one straight experience where you're gonna have sort of the same mix of enemies and skulls uh, throughout each wave, we're actually gonna let the players get their hands dirty and be an armchair designer and sort of craft your own experience. So um, I'd like to have Lars come up here. He's just gonna give you just a quick overview of exactly how much customization you'll be able to do in Firefight, and then I think he has a new surprise to, uh, to show us here today as well. Hey everybody, how's it going? Aww. Thanks for coming out once again. Um, so we're going to go over some things uh, that are new to Firefight. Um, pay no attention to that game type for just a second. Um, we talked about uh, matchmaking support, customization and all that at E3 but a lot of you have probably not actually seen how deep the customization goes. First of all, I'll show you uh, the built-in game types we're gonna ship with, and I should point out that every single game type uh, that you see built-in that's gonna ship with Reach was made using the in-game options, so there's no fancy behind-the-scenes things. These are things you guys are gonna be able to create, and you're gonna be able to create even crazier things as well. Um, so we've got generator, generator defense, which actually adds um, hard point things to defend while you're fighting off the AI. Grunt Grunt-pocalypse, which we're talking about for the first time at Comic-Con. <laughs> As you can see from the description, it's all grunts all the time, aim for the face, good times. Uh, rocket Fit, which we showed at E3, which is, hey, mix unlimited rocket launchers with firefight, loadout, and armor abilities, and you've got an awesome combination. 
Um, so real quick, I'll go into the game options. So it gets pretty nuts when we start to dive down at the main level. You've got wave properties, which on each individual round and each individual wave, you can say what skulls you want on. Um, and then you can even go deeper and say, hey, I want to use drop ships or I don't want to use drop ships. What kinds of squads you want to make up every single wave. So you can see you have a, uh, around 30 Whoa. different types. There's all sorts of crazy stuff in here. If you want to make an entire wave of hunters, you can do that. It's just as easy as setting it that way. And then you can set your bonus wave as well. By default, it's going to be set uh, to elites for this particular game type. And normally it's grunts, um, which is awesome. And then you've got everything else. We, we actually allow you to uh, end the mode prematurely as well. So you don't, Firefight isn't necessarily unlimited anymore like it was in ODST unless you want it to be. So now we let you say, I only want to play one round um, or I only want to play for five minutes, six minutes. Whatever you want to do, it's completely customizable. And then if that wasn't enough, we have complete customization for the Spartans. Um, how many lives you start with, uh, base traits, which is everything you remember from Halo 3 player traits, but even more, even more in depth. So we've got infinite equipment usage, which you, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. And then loadouts are completely customizable as well. So you can name them, you can set what the starting and secondary, primary and secondary weapons are, the armor abilities, yeah, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. So, Without further ado, we're going to talk about something new that we haven't shown before. Um, and Shishka, why don't you join my game? We're also going to show a new map for the first time. This is from a little, uh, little bit into the campaign, so uh, all the firefight maps are taken from campaign. Um, so yes, it says versus. Now, um, Firefight's always been a cooperative experience, and we want to continue it to be a cooperative experience. But now, in Reach, when we were sitting back and thinking, what can we do even more than we did in ODST and on top of the customization oh. options? <laughs> and uh, we thought, you know what? What if you get to play from the Covenant perspective? Yeah. So... Like everything in Firefight, it's a simple option. It's a simple change uh, in the lobby. If I go blue team, um, the way this works is we actually have both teams um, play from each perspective. So I'm gonna do a really quick game here of versus with Shishka. So if you start on blue team, you're gonna start as the elites. Red team starts as Spartans. Can we bring up the sound a little bit? <laughs> Firefight. These women are not warriors. They're prepared and weak. Kill them. So I'm spawning Set, as an elite. Start. Tough luck. Catch. So if, if you look in the lower left hand corner, you'll see I have a new armor ability hologram. <laughs> See, my guys are actually getting dropped off right now. Now we're gonna go after Shishka. Where are you at, Shishka? Show you guys something cool. One minute remains. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so we do have unique assassinations for the sword now. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. So you notice in the lower left-hand corner, you see that little Spartan helmet? That's actually showing me how many lives Shishka has left. 